Okay, well, I'll call the meeting to order. Um, this is uh, the April 24th meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. We do not currently have a quorum, so this is a working group type meeting. Uh, it's not an official meeting in, until we have a quorum, um, which means we don't need to go through official, uh, you know, um, procedure. But, you know, we'll stick to the agenda as we planned. It looks like we have Aaron Kaziki here, so we're still one member short. Uh, so, you know, there's comments from the chair. I don't I don't have any um, comments or anything. Um, and it would just be like preaching to Gabe anyway. So that's seems weird. Um, uh, so the next, the next thing that we wouldn't normally handle is uh, general business, which is from members of the public. It appears we don't have any of those here. Um, so I'm gonna move on along and get right to um, what our agenda had said, review and approval of revised web page templates. But as that's, gonna, as that's gonna turn out, it's just, you know, Aiden will um, give you whatever feedback we have. Um, I don't feel like you need any official review. I know Mike wants to get going with it, but I assume we're close anyway to um, being being good with the, the template. So with that, I'll hand it off to you. You can tell us about the template. And we'll let you know what you think. Yeah, perfect. My internet is going fairly slowly right now. So I had tried to pull the web page up and it was kind of glitching. So um, if we want to review it, I'll have one of you pull it up or wait until the internet gets itself sorted. Um, I, unfortunately, Julia couldn't be here this evening, um, but I can give you kind of an update on some of the edits from last time and where we kind of got to with Mike and where we see the process going forward. Um, the couple of main takeaways from the previous meeting were the intro language kind of rearranging how that shows up, um, making it a little, Oh, one second. I I pulled it up for you. Okay. When you pulled it up, I can't see anyone anymore, which is okay. <laughs> but I'll just oh. keep talking. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> it's just my computer is being weird. Um. Anyway, but if you can still hear me, that's all good. So the intro language being a bit better and uh, really introducing people to the page and then maybe also giving a little up um preview of some of the goals of what that chapter is highlighting and then the other one was the some of the mapping edits making that a little bit more clear and intuitive as people scroll through that um, and then moving some of the intro background style language to a section called planning context and doing some reordering there does that oh and um, editing some of the language after the recommendations, which as you'll see in the story map, we just removed completely um, to make sure that some of that language can show up in other parts of the chapter um, and that it wasn't being misconstrued as anything that was a, an actual policy that the city would be pursuing. Um, yeah, I mean, everything looks good so far like we had talked about uh, it it looks like maybe the descriptions of the aspirations and goals haven't been edited though um, do you, do you see the page i pulled up right now one second it's coming back i can see you now but it's i'm just seeing a black screen unfortunately uh, oh. <laughs> So from what I was seeing earlier, we had aspirations and goals, but then there was no following description. Is that still there? With the, the link that was on our uh, agenda. Is yeah, that the right is... one? I sent a follow-up link. Okay, great. Yeah, um, sorry about that. I sent that maybe Friday because I realized that we had what we had done is made a new story map page 
that has the updated content um, and then left the old one so that if people were to say, oh, I liked how it was presented in the old one, we would still have um, that design preserved. Um, okay, I'll, I'm working on pulling that up. Okay. And Aaron's having a technical problem, I'm also helping him with now. <laughs> All good. Everything goes at once. Okay. So from you. Okay, I have that pulled up. Does, do people want me to share that? Or is it more trouble than it's worth with Aiden's issue? I, I'm looking at it, so I don't need it. Okay. Um, actually, well, maybe I will share it just for the sake of there's public watching. Come to think of it. I don't think of that enough. Um, okay. So, okay, so there's buttons now on the map to show the difference. So that's very clear. That's that's cool. And yep, description's gone. Implementation summary. Um, so it says synergies with other plan chapters and then on the other side of uh, oh okay so now I see implementation summary in it. and okay so it is a different section I get it now I see Aaron made it that's good so Aaron, we don't we don't have a quorum. So where this is just giving our last feedback on the template for the um, website. Something that was changed from last time as well, um, and this is sort of just a stylistic difference, mostly between Julia and I, <laughs> that the intro has those photo pages that have the text um, coming down. If you scroll to the top, so. Yep, people will see that title page and then as they scroll down, they'll get these facts. So I'm open to feedback on on what if people like that format or if they want to jump kind of straight to the descriptions in just text without the photos. You guys have thoughts? It's these these two messages that like a, <clears throat> as I'm trying to scroll down the page, these things are going by. I don't know. I kind of like the way that it was before myself. I, I'm just a little ADD, so. That's all good. That's all good. I don't tell Julia, but <laughs> I do like just the text. Um, but I understand that we do want it to be, you know, photo rich and graphic rich, but we can absolutely include photos um, sort of within the text and make sure that people um, just get right to the introduction. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Is that good with you, Aaron? Yeah. Okay. Um, so in our last meeting with Mike, we talked about making sure that we're finding a balance between being able to have text edits and us being able to make story map pages sort of concurrently with those. So with this one, we will provide the story map page uh, and a word version of all the text that went into that story map page that the planning commission can um, 
edit more specifically if desired. And then for the other chapters, once they kind of get into this same structure, we can just provide the Word documents and you'll just kind of know what to generally expect with the story map template. Um, and so those, those text edits, wherever necessary, um, can just be handled a little bit more easier than going through three different iterations between planning commission and Mike <laughs> before they get updated again on the story map. I, I think that sounds, that sounds totally great. Um, in fact, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, we'll be busy doing other things. I'm not sure how much time in our meetings we'll have, but yep. um, I would be happy to commit to reviewing those as they go okay. and then share, sharing them with people. Um, to, you know, to give them a chance uh, to go through if they want. Um, but that sounds, that sounds, that sounds great. And, and also just, just as like a, a tip, as far as I'm concerned, you know, that we've already heavily edited the, the chapter language that we've given you. Yeah. And so cutting and pasting from that, I think is going to like, if you're in doubt about what we might like, just cut and paste just from that without, without even trying to, to edit or piece it together. Yep. Yep. So getting things from the versions that we have created into this structure with Aaron on the side of pulling in a direct pl plan chapter language that we are on board there. Yeah, that's great. Was there anything else you wanted to show us? Um, I think that is it. I'm happy to answer any other questions or take any other feedback at this time. But other than that, we just expect some um, word versions of the next few chapters. I think we're going to try to batch those, if at all possible. Um, but yeah, we're happy to take comment um, either now or over the next couple days. Okay. Um, anybody else have anything for Aiden? Um, it looks it looks great to me. Gabe, you have something? I was just gonna say, I think Aiden, I've been like the least vocal on this stuff because I I really do feel like people are just gonna go to the parts that they want. But I I appreciate the hard work. I think it looks great, and I think once everything's populated. Um, and then we're going to get a lot of com community feedback, right? So I think, Absolutely. you know, getting something up that people can actually comment on is is pretty important. So great, great job in my mind. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think you do have a gist of what we're looking for. And so yeah, if the other the other chapters and overlays are are like this, then I think we'll be good. Hopefully. Awesome. Well, if, um, I don't know if there's like meeting notes created from these things, Kirby, but if, if someone could make sure that this, the more updated link finds its way into those for the other planning commission members, that would be great. Um, and as I said, any, any other feedback in the next few days, just shoot that over to Mike and, and he'll communicate that. Okay. I mean, we have minutes, but I don't think anyone uses the minutes to try to <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, so. Uh, and there's like the staff keeps the minutes later. So okay. just note to staff, like don't put in a bunch of work to a link that no one's going to use. But, uh, but yeah, the, the, I think, I think other people will know. I mean, once you, once you pointed out that you had sent that link, I remembered that you had done that. Yeah. So okay. um, I don't, I don't think we'll have that problem. Awesome. All right. Well, have a good night. Uh, and thanks so much. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, so moving on informally, the only thing else we have to take a look at is the chapter language that I had gone over this morning um, from Mike's version on public safety. Um, uh, do you guys want to? Do you guys want me to share that or or pull it up individually? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Um... It's gonna make a couple minutes. It doesn't look like it's a ton of edits. So. Okay. So is that good with you, Gabe? Just we'll take a a quick uh, reading break and.
come back in a few. Um, <clears throat> and it will make exhilarating TV. Um, all right, Gabe will be back in a minute. What do you think? Do you have any things to change? No, I think it's all pretty straightforward. I don't, I mean, my, I, I like uh, sort of cutting the language down. It does a good job of that. I, I definitely, I, with these chapters, I don't always, like the notes describing the goals and stuff, I don't normally pay a lot of attention to, but this time I tried to make sure, like just in case it ended up on the website, it's gonna learn my lesson there. Um, but, uh, already, I tried to, yeah, I mean, I, I think in the I, end, I think in the end, like content wise, everything is there. And I think that's the important part. Like, yeah. I, I've sort of kind of said this before, but I, I feel like at this point, you know, as long as we have the nuts and bolts of the chapter, you know, outlined in this, in the text, I think we should vote it out and see how the, uh, the kind of public response we get before we kind of drill down on the wordsmithing too much. Um, my sense is, is that we'll get constructive feedback from the public and really be able to craft the language to respond to that. Um, and if we don't get comments, you know, um, we can take another cut at polishing it up. But I think, again, I think we've got the substance down. So that's what's really important. My assumption is that the there'll be like lightning rod places where the public gives a lot of feedback, and then there's yeah. going to be places where it's not touched at all. Right, and I, so I, 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 I yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm always scared of kicking the wordsmithing down the road because then I feel like it doesn't get done, <laughs> and then like three years from now, I'll pull up the website and I'm like, how did we, how did we do that? Like, <laughs> like how did we not fix this? But anyway, yeah, that's uh, I, I just, but, I, take, I, I get just you, take, and that's just the yeah. thing is, is that because. Because I used in my experience, you can't really predict where you're going to get the sort of lightning rod issues cropping up. Um, That's true. You know, and I and I think that there's good, you know, because there's going to be a certain amount of work to synthesize all these chapters together. Once we get the full, you know, suite of chapters together, and there's going to be some further cutting of language, I think, because there's going to be a lot of redundancy and there's going to be sort of cross-references and stuff, which I think is going to probably change some of the structure anyway. But that's just, that's my approach. So, um, so I, think, I, think everything's, I think everything's good here. I think we've got everything. <laughs> that reminds me that we're, we, I mean, we, have to, we need to do the land use plan like soon. And that's when uh, we're going to be pulling st all the stuff together in one place. To do the what? I'm sorry. The land use plan chapter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> which is yeah, pulling it all together. Yeah. Um, yeah, one thing with these chapters and some of this language and stuff that, that we've been getting lately that I've started to be focused more on because I'm starting to see a big trend is I don't like the like us in the plan where Montpelier is complimenting itself all the time. It feels like we're just very proud of ourselves and we're not interested in looking forward. And I'd rather the plan be, you know, forward looking and not back padding. Yeah, no, I think, and I tend to agree with you. I think it's the messaging really ought to be, you know, laying out the status quo and relevant part of the, just sort of just hitting the ground running in terms of what, what we plan to do related to whatever the chapter issues are. And again, yeah. I think this does a good job of that. I agree with you. I think there's been other chapters where we've spent a lot of time sort of um, kind of laying out who we are with a bit of rhetorical flourish that maybe is not necessary, but, you know. <laughs> All right, so I guess we just have to wait for Gabe, see if he's got anything to say and then uh... Yeah, is that is that it for tonight? Is just these two things? That was it. It was just the, it was these two things. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we were we were planning to to vote if we had the quorum, but um, 
Well, I think we can always there's... we can always pick it up and quickly vote on it later and just ask the people who are here if they have any comments before we vote. We'll need to do a whole review. Yeah. I'm just I'm going back very quickly and seeing if I can pull up. I oh, was there. Is there a community justice component to the text? Yeah. Did I miss that? It's. Uh, oh, I see it now. Okay. All right. There we go. Yeah, he he put it at the bottom each time. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why I was. There. I, I got the impression that sections of this were written by the entities themselves. Yeah. It yeah. Just, it just seems, it seems like they were like the community justice center. I didn't really change much. It had a different flow to it than some of the other sections. I feel like, yeah, someone from community justice, I feel like wrote that. Um, sure. The only thing I changed with community justice is at the bottom where it explains the plan. I had one edit where the statement was that these have a long history of success. And I feel like the city shouldn't be caught telling it, telling the world that the city has a long history of success. You know what I mean? Um, so just change that to the MCJC thinks that each of these has a long history of success. Um, and I, and I try to change that for all the other parts too, where, um, uh, where we didn't try to make factual sounding claims about ourselves. Yeah, I, I would generally agree with that approach. <laughs> oh, we lost Gabe. All right. Maybe he got completely pulled away. Oh, there's something in the chat. No, nothing new. All right, well, we may as well not take up more time um, with an unofficial meeting. So let's just call it. I'll let Gabe know. Great. Um, thanks a lot, Josh, for hanging out late. Yeah, no problem. Um, what, do, what, do we, what do we have on tap for the next meeting? Or do we have a sense of what's... I did because I, I I missed last meeting, so I'm not quite sure where we are. Oh, uh, we're coming up. I'm not sure exactly, but we're um, I'm trying to remember if there's any chapter language we haven't gotten to. Yeah, there might. I feel, I feel like we're close, if not complete. Can, Community mm -hmm. services or utilities, one of those two might still, we still might, still might need to do chapter language for that. Uh, we got to start doing the folks in the land use plan at some point. Um, Mike's supposed to have some zoning suggestions for us sometime soon. I really doubt that'll be next time though. Um, website stuff should be good for a while. Uh, we'll have to see. I might have to come up with something if Mike doesn't have something for us. Uh, if I come up with something, it's probably going to be working on the zoning stuff more to make sure that we're good to go with that. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks. Great. You too. Thanks, Kirby.